Hello, welcome to Wise Guys. The visibility test and the applications. So this session is show you the divisibility test of two, five, and a ten. First, uh, let's see what is the divisibility test for two. Any even number is divided by two. Even number. What is even number? Even number end with zero, two, four, six, eight. So zero, two, four, six, eight. A zero is not itself is not even number, but as when zero is in the f on the first on the last digit to make the number is even number like ten, twenty, thirty. This is even number. So two, four, six, eight. All this even number and with. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So that's why any number, even number, is divided by 2. So let's take a look. 64 is 4, last digit is 4, so this is even number, so it's divided by 4, right? It's divisible. And 102 and with 2 is even. 441, this is not even, this is not even. This one is not even. This is all the number and not divided by two. So five three forty five also is not even, so it's not divided by two. Eight is even, so it's divided by two. Zero make number even divided by two. Seven is not even, so it's not divided by two. Six even is divided by two. So whatever the rest of the digit, only need to look at the last digit. If it's even, that's divided by two. Let's see some application how to use divisibility to reducing fraction. Ten over two, twelve. Ten is even number. Twelve even number. Both divided by two, so we can divide by two. Divided by two, you got ten. Divided by two is five over six, right? Reducing fraction ten over twelve equal five over six. Twenty-two is even. Forty-two is even. You divide the two, you got the eleven over twenty-one. Twenty-six over thirty-eight, both are even. Divide the two, divide two, we got. 13 over 19. So, the other application is find the remainder. We can predicting remainder means we don't need to do exactly division. We can predict what is the remainder. The reason is very simple because if this digit is Four, then it's divided by two because even number, any even number is divided by two. But this is odd, so it's not divided by two. So if it is four, it's divisible. Now it's five, so the remainder is one, right? Remainder is one. So four four forty one. Also, if four forty, and then it's divided by two. Now four forty one. So remainder is two, is one, right? This one, eighty-seven, also is not divided by two it because it's not end with even digit. So if eighty-six, then it divided by two. So eighty-seven remainder is one. So from this one we can see when divided by two, if all the number is not divided by two, the remainder always one. Next let's see 
the divisibility test for 5 if a number ends with 5 or 0 the number is divisible by 5 so we only look at the last digit if it is 5 it divided by 5 if it is 0 also divided by 5 any any digit, any number of digit, even you have million, you have a billion, but as long as the last digit is five or zero, it is divided by five. Look at this is twenty five and, and with five is divisible by five. Zero it is a five, this is seven, no. Five, yes, five, yes. 4, no, 0, yes, 5, yes, 6, no. So, whatever, how many digits, 3 digits, 2 digits, even 4 digits, even 5 digits, as long as last digit is 5 or 0, it's divided by 5. Otherwise, it's not divisible. Let's see the application how to use this divisibility test for 5 to reducing fractions. 10 over 15 and with 0 it divided by 5 and with 15 divided by 5. 10 divided by 5 equals 2, 15 divided by 5 equals 3. You got 2 thirds. The second 0 and with 0 is divided by 5, 45 divided by 5, so 20 divided by 5 equals 4, 45 divided by 5 equals 9. So after reducing, it becomes 4 over 9. And this and both with 5, so it's divided by 5, we can divide the 5, divide the 5 for both numerator and denominator. 55 divided by 5 equals 11. 65 divided by 5 equals 13, right? The answer is 11 over 13. And then, how to predict remainder if a number is not divided by 5? So, same as divided by 2, we need to make the last digit divided by 5. What is the digit to make this number divided by 5, 346 is the crossed number is 345 right, it divided by 5 so 346 is not divisible, the remainder is 1, right? and this one, which number crossed to 448 which is divided by 5 obviously this one is 5 445 is divided by 5. So 448, the remainder is 3, right? And also this one, 87. So the crossed number is 85. So the remainder is 2, right? So you always need to choose the number. It's close to this number, but less. Right? Smaller than 346. Smaller than 440, 48. Right? Next, let's see the divisibility test for 10. If a number ends with 0, the number is divided by 10. So, any number, whatever how many digits, if the end with 0, it divided by 10. So this 0, so it divisible by 10. This is working. This is not working. This is not working because this is divided by 10. Okay? So we need a 0. Even you have zeros before, but we need the last digit is 0. So this is not working, divided by 10. Not working. And uh, this is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 digits. Last digit is 0, so it's working.
right? So use this divisibility test to reducing fraction, and with zero and with zero, we divide the ten, divide the ten, you got one fifth. But this one, you divide the ten, divide you, you can divide the ten, divide the ten, then you got. 200, because 2,000 divided 10 equals 200, and 3,000 divided 10 equals 300, and you still have 0, 0, you still can keep going, right? Divide 10, you got 20 over 30, and divide another 10, you got 2 thirds, right? So that's why sometimes if you understand the shortcut is zero with this zero cancel out. What does that mean? That means divide the ten. This zero also cancel with this zero, divide another ten. Right? And this zero cancel with this zero, divide another ten. That's why the final is two thirds, right? Okay, this one. Last zero, you divide the ten, divided by ten. And we got 55 over 500, right? Then the 55 and with 5 is not divided by 10. You cannot divide it by 10 anymore. But we learn divisibility by 5 if the last digit is 5 or 0 is divided by 5. So we can divide the 5 because 0 divided by 5. So this one, you got the 55 divided by 5 is 11. And the 500 divided by 5 is 100. So after reducing, the final answer is 11 over 100. This is simply simplest form, right? And also we can look at uh, what is the application in predicting remainder when a number divided by 10. 345 divided 10, because n with not 0 is not divisible. So the crossed number is 340, right? If 340 is divisible, that's why remainder is 5. Remainder is 5, right? And this one, the cross number is 440. 440 is divided by 10, but 449 is not divisible. So the remainder is 9, right? And the remainder, this uh, cross number is 080. 24,680 is divided by 10. So 81 is not divisible. The remainder is 1, right? All this is for divisibility test for 2 five and a ten. This is presented by Wise Guy. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.